in the balanced binary tree in the below figure so that means they are giving us the figure which is the balanced binary tree and everybody is aware that whenever somebody is asking about balanced and unbalanced they are talking about the avl tree and in the avl tree the balancing factor should be minus 1 0 or 1 only if it is the balancing factor then the tree is balanced as they are saying that in the balanced binary tree in the figure so we have to first of all find whether this tree is balanced or not so now we are going to find out the balancing factor of this tree and they are claiming that this is the balanced binary tree so we have to find out first of all all the leaf nodes should be at zero so we are giving them the zero then we have to find out from bottom to up now if i talk about c left hand side there is one level and at right hand side there is no level so 1 minus 0 is 1 so c balancing factor is 1 now talking about node b there on the left hand side there are two levels one is g one is d so it is 2 and the right hand side there is d only one level so 2 minus 1 is 1 so b is again having one balancing factor now talking about e in the e the f is on the left hand side so there is one level on the right hand side there is nothing so zero level 1 minus 0 is 1 now talking about node a which is the root node there are one level two level and three level so three levels are there and the right hand side there is one and two level so 3 minus 2 is 1 now you can see that all the nodes are having balancing factor 1 and 0 which is falling under the condition minus 1 0 or 1 so that means this tree is balanced question is saying correctly now moving further how many nodes will become unbalanced when a node is inserted as a child of node g means there is a node g and if i insert one more node there let us suppose node name is p so if i insert some node over there how many nodes will be unbalanced that we have to find out and they have given us these options now this is the tree for which we have to find out the balancing factor now all the leaf nodes are at zero now from bottom to up i will first of all see the balancing factor of g now on the right hand side of g there is nothing and on left hand side of g there is only p one level is there so 1 minus 0 is 1 so balancing factor of g is 1 now coming up checking for the c there are two levels on the left hand side which is of p and g and on the right hand side there is nothing so 2 minus 0 is 2 now coming up find out the balancing factor of b there are 1 2 and 3 levels at the left hand side and on the right hand side there is only one level so 3 minus 1 is 2 so the balancing factor of b is 2 now check the balancing factor for node e in the node e on the left hand side there is only one level on the right hand side there is nothing so 1 minus 0 is 1 so the balancing factor of e is 1 now check the balancing factor of node a which is the root node Now on the left hand side the levels are 1 2 3 and 4 and on the right side levels are 1 and 2 so 4 minus 2 is 2 so 2 is the balancing factor of node a which is the root node now the question is saying how many nodes will become unbalanced any node who is not following the criteria of balancing factor which should be minus 1 0 and 1 they are unbalanced so this is following the criteria this is fulfilling the criteria this is fulfilling this is again fulfilling it is also fulfilling this node c which is having balancing factor 2 not fulfilling the criteria node b who is again having two balancing factor not fulfilling the criteria node a having two balancing factor not fulfilling the criteria so these three nodes are not fulfilling the criteria of avl tree and these three are the unbalanced nodes so three is the correct answer so the correct option for this one is b